Hello and welcome back. In this video we're looking at Quizlet. When it comes to revision or checking student learning it's always useful to have um, some means of just uh, <clears throat> making sure that they're familiar with the subject. This could be the use of flashcards. These are little cards that have maybe a term and then an explanation alongside them. With Quizlet we'll allow you to make them and then turn them into a variety of different activities. So having logged on with your social media account or your email you click the create button as with a lot of these sites there's a freemium option as well that gives you greater features but I think the free version is fine for what we need to do so I've clicked create I can put in the title add a description I can then set the language so this can be really useful for learning language so I've put in minor photography terms or, or terms related to the camera so we've got the terms down one side and the definitions down the other it's possible to add a uh, a image alongside that as well. So having done that and you can add additional ones, you can create a much bigger set than four but I'm going with four for the purpose of this video, we can um, then hit create. So we'll just wait for it to create. So having created your set you've got a number of things you can do with them, you can obviously share that via social media you can make them as flashcards. So you could use them maybe in screen. Or we can use the options thing to determine whether the audio is on or off, if we have audio and what, what comes up first, the definition or the term. So that's how it looks on flashcards. And obviously we can flick through those and we could use that with, with the learners in class. If we go back, we can also use the learn function. And it comes up as questions. And we can obviously <coughs> order, alter the order that they appear in. So that's another way that they can be used. So what you found is having created the, the enter the information there's a variety of different things you can do with it. So there's a spell function, a test function. Uh, so I'll have a quick look at the test function. Let's wait for that to pick up. Um, so it's done as a test. So having created your resource your answers and your questions, it's very easy to generate lots of different types of resource with it. Um, I particularly like the question one, which I think works really well. Um, and then there's also the mix and match function as well. So we'll just wait for that to load up. So there we have it, that is Quizlet. And then the final thing to show you is how you can share it with others. So you do start the game and you've got various things and you can drag the elements and pair them up. So if you're looking for a drag and drop function, when you pair them up they disappear and it gives you a time as well. So that's that's some of the things you can do with it. And then we can obviously edit it, we can share it, and we click share, and we can share it to Google Classroom, or we can share it via social media, or we can copy that link, or we can share it via email. We can add it to a folder, so we can organize it with folders and files, and you click add to folder, and you can create classes. Uh, and if you use the class function, you can then obviously see the progress your learners have made if you get them to, to log in as well. Um, and so you've got scores, you've got the ability to export it and the ability to embed it as well. So there you have it, Quizlet, really useful tool. Uh, as I said at the start, having created the information it's very easy uh, then to present it in a number of different formats to create an interactive resource. Hope you found that useful. Join me again soon. Thanks for watching.